All right. Good Monday afternoon, everyone. TJ here for your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. So for today, we will just need a mat. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're not going to use a weight for the Russian twist because I'm going to start adding things to this. All right. So this is the first one that we're going to start off with. So Russian twist. All right. Ready? Go. So the farther you lean back, the more challenging it is on the core, but it might be a little more pressure on the low back. So just be careful. Nice job. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we'll break it up just so that it's not affecting our back too much. All right, so we're gonna place our hands underneath our backside. And so we're going to start off doing flutter kicks. All right, so your hands are bracing your backside just so it doesn't bother your back. All right, ready, go. So you can start at the bottom, which is a lot harder than if you were to raise your feet and you flutter, so fluttering or small little kicks. But remember, as you lower the legs down, trying to find what works for you, just remember your low back, keep your core or your belly button drawn into your spine. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So now we're going to go penguins. So if you remember the penguin, that's where the penguin moves side to side when the penguin walks. All right, so shoulder blades off the ground and we're moving side to side. Remember, if you need to use the hand to support your head, do so. Ready, go. So kind of like you're grabbing for your ankles or you are grabbing for your ankles, if possible. Again, keeping the core tight, working the obliques or the muscles on the side of our stomach. Nice job. Keep going. Three, two, one. All right. So before we go back to what we just did in the very beginning, let's stretch it out really quick. So hands overhead, extending your legs to where they're straight. All right. So now let's go back into that Russian twist, but this time it's going to be more like clapping where you're doing that bicycle with your legs. Now, if it's easy, you could just rest one leg on the floor and then do the other, all right? Ready, go. So again, just kind of more stop and go, which is what I'm doing here. Otherwise, almost like a bicycle. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so we're gonna lie on our back and we're going to go back to the flutter kick, except for this time, instead of fluttering, it's more like a little mini scissor, all right? So it's where one foot will cross over the other, but not a big movement, all right? Ready? Set, go. So again, remember, the farther you have your feet up and you're doing this, it's easier than if your feet make it closer to the ground. Just remember to keep that belly button drawn in towards the spine as you do it. Nice job. If you have to situate, reset your hands. 
Great job. Three, two, one. Excellent. All right. So we're going to go back to that penguin. And this one, I'll just keep it the same. So remember, side to side. Ready? Go. Nice job. Now, the one thing that does make this challenging is if you are trying to reach at your ankles, that if your feet are closer to your backside, it's a lot easier than if your feet are farther away from your backside and you feel like you have farther to reach. Keep going. Really feeling the obliques or through the side of our core and be mindful of your neck if you have to hold on or support your head. Three, two, one. All right. Go back to that stretch. So hands overhead, feet out in front of you. Feeling the stretch through your front of your core. And now let's do a stretch just for the hip. So I want you to take the right leg, bend at 90 and cross it over to the opposite side, just so you feel through the outer hip. Nice job. All right, so still have your hands out by your side. Now we're gonna bend the left leg at 90 degrees. We're going to drop it towards the right side of our body and feeling that stretch through the left side of the hip. Nice job. All right, so let's sit back up and let's do one more of what we were just doing this time. And so this time you're going to almost like an accordion crunch, all right? Otherwise you can go alternating like you're reaching, otherwise both feet, all right? Ready, set, go. I'll show you again the modification. Just be a little careful if you drink too much water and it starts pushing on your stomach. Sometimes never a good, good feeling, especially if you drink too much water. <laughs> nice job. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, definitely something to be aware of. If you're doing an app class, don't drink a bunch of water before you start. All right, so legs out in front. And this time we're going to go alternating in the sense of a leg raise, all right? So remember if your legs are up and you're doing this, it's a lot easier than legs farther down. Ready? set, go. So a bigger kick. And if you have to situate your hands or start a little higher, especially with everything that you've done, you're probably really feeling it in the hip like I am. So if you have to pause, pause for a couple of seconds and then get back to it. Keep going, pause if you need to, keep going, keep going. Remember your belly button, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so we're going to go back to the penguin one last and final time. Ready, go. Great job, everyone. Keep it up, keep going. Side to side. Remember if your feet are farther away from your backside or your butt, you have a little farther to reach. 
if you're really trying to grab at your ankles and just be mindful of supporting that head. If you get a lot of tension in the back of your neck. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so hands overhead, straighten your legs. If it helps, point your toes away from your body and make sure you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, bring your, your knees into your chest. Just stretching out that low back. All right, so let's flip it over. And we're going to, I'll give you an option, all right? So you can either go Superman's, where you raise the legs and the hands up. Otherwise, I want you to keep your legs up, hands behind your head, and you're kind of going side to side. All right, okay, ready, go. So I'll show the Superman for a few. Do you see what the Superman looks like? Or legs up, hands behind your head, keeping your chest off the floor. Kind of think like you're Superman, but you're kind of skimming the skies looking for danger or looking for someone to save. So feeling that, that flexion or the low back muscles are flexed. Three, two, one. All right, child's pose for me. All right, before we do it again, I want you to give me a little mini Sphinx or Cobra. All right, so let's do it again. So we got two more. Ready? Let's do it. Go. So Superman, I'll show this one this time. So raising the legs, raising the hands. Otherwise, you can place your hands behind your head. And we're kind of doing that reverse sort of penguin that we just did. Keep going. So remember, squeeze through your glutes. Feel it through your, your lower back. Three, two, one. All right. Child's pose. So which is that fetal position, face down, hands in front of you, stretching out the low back. All right. Either mini Sphinx or Cobra. So we got one more, one more round, and then we'll be done. All right, so you have those two options. Ready, go. So I'll do about 15 seconds of Superman, or I'll switch, and now I'll switch. And so I'll place the hands behind the head and just kind of going side to side, keeping the chest off the floor, keeping the knee and the ankles off the ground, squeezing through my glutes, feeling it through my low back. Three, two, one. All right, child pose. All right, one last mini cobra or spin or mini sphinx or cobra. Feeling that stretch through your front, front of your core. Nice job, everyone. All right. So for tomorrow, for in person classes, there is. Total Body Challenge, which Caitlin will be teaching uh, if you are there. 
Otherwise, there is a 2 p.m. stretch break um, that I will probably be teaching. And otherwise, uh, see Caitlin in the gym, 10 to 6. Uh, we will see you tomorrow.